good afternoon. Welcome to the Outdoor Zone. Mm -hmm. If you're new here, this is Jameson and I'm Devin and we are the hosts of the Inn. That's right. <laughs> Um, so today what we want to chat with you about is why not to buy an Airstream. There are tons of resources on the internet about why you should buy an Airstream and all the pros, um, but we've been in ours for just short of a year and there are definitely some reasons we discovered, just depending on your priorities when RV shopping, of why it may not be a good fit. Yeah. So that's what we're going to chat about. Yeah. You might be uh, you know, brand new to the RV lifestyle and, and, and you're looking and there's you know, all these different options. You might, you know, already be a seasoned RV veteran, and uh, you know you have a current RV, but you're curious about airstreams, and and maybe you want to make the switch, right? Or, or you could have just been driving along along the road and saw this silver bullet looking thing and thought the heck is that? Before we got ours, we had the same thoughts. We toured some other travel trailers, had seen Airstreams like that little silver bullet style going down the road, but had never actually been inside of one. But that's just one option. There are hundreds of RVs out there for you to choose from. So let's go ahead and pop in and talk about why it may not be a good fit. Yeah. All right. So before we go inside, we're going to talk about our first point, which is space. If space is a priority for you, an Airstream may not be the best fit. You may envision when you walk in your RV a nice open space like a big kitchen with like a little island or um, a separate living room area, maybe a couple of bedrooms. Um, that's a possibility when you're RV shopping, but when you walk into an Airstream, what you get is some version of one long hallway. So I'm 5'11 and I fit pretty comfortably in here. As you can see, I've got a good amount of space between the top of my head and the roof. Now, if you're a couple of inches taller than I am, I think that's where you might start to feel a little less comfortable in an Airstream. But I think where you're really gonna run into an issue is the shower and the bathroom. So, the shower, I've got shoes on, so I've got maybe a half inch, you know, extra here, but like, I'm almost to the top of the shower and your wingspan, you're gonna be pretty tight, but I make it work if you're a little bit bigger than me, it, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable. And then there's the toilet. I'll let you make your own conclusions based off of what you can see here. Uh, I'm sitting catty corner, my legs up against the cabinet. I make it work. It's not that big of a deal for me. But then again, for some people, it might be a little uncomfortable. Still staying on that same idea of space. Um, for now, it's just Jameson, myself, and our two dogs. Um, so we've got this queen bed, and that works for us, but there are really limited spaces for sleeping and different types of activities. For example, a huge pain point for us current day is the fact that we don't really have a couch to relax on at the same time that we have a table. So we have to put down our table in order to make the couch. And that's also what families who have, say, young kids um, have to do in order to convert into a bed each night. So you're thinking every single day we've got to put the table down, make the bed, pick it back up, and then set back up the table. Maybe now it's time after dinner we want to relax on the couch. Time to put the table back down. Now we have a couch. So that's not necessarily ideal. For us, actually, that's a huge pain point in the Airstream. It's really the only thing that's been super annoying to us. Um, but if that's important to you to have um, constant spaces for kids that aren't having to be converted all the time, that may be something to think about. Well, let me show you what I mean. We've got a queen bed, which the dogs utilize during the day. And then we've got this table. So our table is two parts and each of them come off. So what's kind of fun is it will give us different configurations. Like we can make a U couch and sort of sit with this one up and kind of sit with the um, like panoramic behind us. We can obviously, um, we can take this one off and then turn it to the side so that Jameis and I can sit on either side of this pretty comfortably with less table. Um, but the function of this really too is to actually drop down and these tabletops sit right here between the two couches and then we have additional cushions to put on top of that to make the couch. We don't do that very often because we don't like to do it. Um, so we typically just deal without a couch so we'll sit outside a lot um, but again it's super hot in Texas and so um, we typically are just sitting around the table. Something else to think about when you are considering what RV to purchase is entertaining and hosting. Um, if you're someone who likes to do a lot of that the good news is you don't really get an RV because you want to spend most of your time inside. Um, most of the gathering and hanging out happens outside, but sometimes it's really cold and sometimes it's really hot. Um, and 
realistically, we can fit about four to five adults in the Airstream at a time, or maybe like four adults and two kids. Um, and that's about as much as this will take. So let's talk bells and whistles. Every RV is gonna come with a variety of different options. And one option you might be looking for is auto leveling. Airstreams don't come with that option. So what you're gonna find instead is you're gonna need to get something like this leveling block that you would put under the tires, back up, and then check to see if you're level. If you want something a little more plug and play where you just push a button and the RV, the system does it itself, you're not gonna find that with an Airstream. Something that we use to help us out with that is the Level Mate Pro. It's very easy to, to use. It's got an app and it's just a little device that sits inside. You check it, you roll back onto your leveling blocks and it will tell you when you're level. Something that the Airstream does have is motorized stabilizers and awnings. Now, that depends on the model, so you're not gonna get that with all of them, but you should know that these options have become pretty standard on other brands outside of Airstream. So if you're looking for a more tech savvy setup, there's some things that have become pretty standard among other RVs. So you would find outside of an Airstream, something like a smart home screen that controls all of your lights, ACs and batteries, vacuums that hide away in stairs, TVs that hide away in a cabinet, fireplaces, etc. Overall, Airstreams aren't gonna have those things. They are gonna have your basic living essentials like fridge, microwave, stovetop, oven, all that, right? But if you want a more tech savvy setup, Airstream is definitely gonna keep it more simple. Okay, so no bells and whistles, but what else does the Airstream not have that maybe would be worth considering on um, whether or not it'd be a good fit for you? Um, storage. <laughs> Our storage inside is certainly limited. It's been enough for us, but we're not the type that carries all seasons of clothes with us or has space for extra chairs or things like, um, some people do those stowaway sort of kayaks, tubes, things like that we're not traveling with. So if having an abundance of storage is important to you, there are plenty of RVs that have it. Airstream is not one of them. Um, and speaking of storage, while we're outside, let's show you our outdoor storage. That's it, that's the whole thing. I know many of you are thinking right now, that's not gonna work for us, and that's okay. While we're out here, let's take a look at this beautiful shell, right? It's nice, it's a little dirty right now. This shell, this little silver bullet, is a lot of the reason why people do buy an Airstream. But you know what? It's terrifying. <laughs> it is really hard to clean without scratching, in our opinion. It just takes a delicate touch. Um, and one good hailstorm or something random, like a ball flying from the neighbor's campsite, could put us in a really expensive fix situation. So that's something worth considering. As beautiful as she is, she'd be very expensive to fix and very easy to dent. So if having ample amount of space and storage, uh, room to entertain, uh, bells and whistles and, and ease of upkeep, if those things are important to you, then getting an Airstream might not be the best fit for you. Yeah. And if you're curious how we feel after living in it for about 10 months, just sort of a year now, yeah. um, we actually are still huge fans. Yeah. <laughs> so the truth is, you know, we love it. And some of our top reasons are it is just super aesthetic. It yeah. feels good to be in. It is made really well, which mm -hmm. not all RVs are made well and that's something to definitely do research on mm -hmm. um our our experience with service has been really good which yep. um we hear is really challenging for most of the rv space right now hasn't mm -hmm. been perfect but it's been good yep. um the size and the shape of our airstream makes it really easy to tow and we can stay wherever we want with a 27 foot trailer for the most part yep. whereas you start creeping up into some of those bigger more roomy trailers and you're not gonna be able to stay in a lot of the state parks and some of the just more niche campgrounds right um, so that's something that we really value. It's, it feels good to be in, um, but really, the, all of the reasons that you may not want to buy an Airstream, some of the reasons that we've talked about today, are kind of the reasons that we do like being in an Airstream yeah. and can kind of all be summed up in simplicity. Yeah. Yeah, so we're all right with the storage. It's just fine. We don't need to carry too much. We like that there's not a lot of bells and whistles and that's just a nice, simple yeah. um, space to call home. Sometimes you feel like if there's too many features, that just means there's more things to that break. could break. Yeah, that's so. true. We like the simplicity of it, the fact that it's something that's always being towed and hitting bumps and all kinds of things like that. It just means that there's less things that could go wrong yeah. and it's built really well. 
So those are the things to us that make it feel like a great place to call home. Mm -hmm. um, we are considering a layout change just because of that big pain point of not having a table at the same time as a couch. Yep. Just a place to sit and enjoy your space um, without having to be at a table um, would be nice. And so that's why we're considering a layout change. Mm -hmm. We would potentially consider a different kind of RV, like a different brand um, whenever it comes time to have kids, that sort of thing. Not sure yet. Um, but overall, we could definitely see ourselves being in an Airstream for a really long time. Yeah, and one thing that we didn't mention is probably our favorite part, the windows. Today, we're going to talk about reasons why this may not be a good fit. So come on, guys. <laughs> so today, we're... <laughs> How did we get into making videos? We are so we're good at it. Such a natural thing. Mm -hmm. 